thousand subscriber welcome back to my channel guys in this morning video I am going to do some steamed cabbage with sachets, some cornmeal dumpling and some boiled food which is banana, yam, dasheen that is what gonna be cooking this morning on the channel and guys thank you for watching the videos as usual thank you for liking the videos guys come to think of it but boy ain't bad looking none at all you know? but guys it's time to sort out the breakfast so I can get to upload the video for you all guys I don't know if a lot of person are just like how I am no matter what I always love to um, sieve my flour before I use it so I'm gonna sieve, the, sieve my flour now maybe there's a little bit I'm using just in the back of my head even when I know that the flour is clean but I just like to make sure <laughs> that I see for myself that it is, it is clean see that and I am going to sip the cornmeal roughly one small cup of cornmeal not much because I'm not cooking um, a lot so I'm just cooking like maybe one um, two cup of flour just the same so I'm just using like one cup of cornmeal okay, I'm going to add Roughly one one teaspoon of salt. But I boil up and all, guys. So I will add one teaspoon of salt in. And then I'm gonna need the dumpling. Then we go into the boiling water. This is the dumpling. How much dumpling that? Five. Five small dumplings. My five little neat dumplings. So I'm going to add them in the water now. And I'm going to turn down the stove on low. Because I don't want them to boil over in the stove. I'm going to add the yellow yam in. And the reason for adding the yellow yam with the dumpling before any other food because the yellow yam is much more harder food to cook. So the yellow yam not gonna like overcook. this is the dasheen so it's four slices of dasheen so I'm gonna add them in the pot now and after adding the dasheen in the pot guys I'm adding in some cooking oil and the reason for the cooking oil in the pot with the food because we're gonna cook some banana as well so the when you add the cooking oil the banana won't change any color the banana will just look natural so this is my banana where I'm gonna peel them out of the skin so I just mark them around with a knife and then I have them in some water with cooking oil because the cooking oil is gonna help from the banana to stain up my finger as well so I'm gonna peel them out and add them in the pot so guys I'm gonna add my banana in and my banana should be cook in five minutes so in five minutes my pot with my banana dumpling yam 
should be good to go. Guys, I am going to use one tomato, one onion, two cloves of garlic, some thyme, one bell pepper, one Irish potato, one carrot for my steamed cabbage, and two tablespoons of butter. So I'm adding in the vegetable now and the seasoning. I'm adding in the Irish potato, the carrots, the bell pepper, the thyme, the tomato. Onion, scallion, I'm adding in this scotch bodied pepper guys, this scotch bodied pepper they have no taste, but I'm still using them guys, meaning you could use at least 5 of the scotch bonnet pepper and you will never taste the, the pepper. So I'm adding in one tablespoon of grace all-purpose seasoning into my steamed cabbage. So the last thing I'm going to add into my steamed cabbage guys is the sachets. Because remember that the sachets are already cooked already from the manufacturer. So it is the last thing that I'm going to add. So I'm just going to let my vegetable steam for about five minutes. Not gonna overcook my vegetable. So I am checking on the vegetable, guys, and it is coming on good. Been steaming for about two minutes now, so I'm just giving it a little bit more steam before I add uh, such as in. Guys, can you see that? Healthy breakfast, this you know, guys. Okay. Take a look on the boiled food. Yeah, man, you see that? See the banana, you see the color and everything. Still remain perfect. guys and we're gonna add in our grace such as chicken and it's chicken such as guys into the cabbage Can you see that? I think the breakfast don't know enough here. 